Sunday, 5th of March, 2023. Subject, violence threat against Mr. Our Said. Subject number two, death threat against Mr. Zersenai Gumai. Close. Difference in opinion on the current Eritrean sociopolitical situation to whom it may concern. Uh, first, from Abraham that lived in the United States as an Eritrean immigrant since 1978. I've been an American citizen since 1984. That served the United States in different aspects of academic and social productivity. Briefly, I earned bachelor's degree in electrical engineering from the State University of New York in Binghamton in 1984. And master's degree in electrical engineering from the same school system in 1989. And a graduate degree in information systems from George Washington University in Washington, DC in 1997. I served as a teacher in different school systems of the United States. I served as a patent examiner and also as a primary patent examiner for 14 years in the Patent and Trademark Office of the United States, examining thousands of applications from distinguished scientists worldwide and issuing 998 scientific patents through the experience. I've been a freelance writer, an author of two books, and with two more books coming in the future. I also have served as a translator or interpreter involving Eritrean and Ethiopian refugees in different occasions and circumstances by personal initiative to assist the needy communities without any personal interest attached. Consider myself an international activist in defense of human rights anywhere in the world. Today, I'm a retired citizen working on harmonizing and assisting the Eritrean community worldwide through different forms of activism. In light of all this, I'm doing this video to inform your good office about the potential danger and the death threat by this disguised people in this video against two honorable Eritreans, Mr. Awal Sayyid and Mr. Zersan Naikrmai, without any provocation and only for having different opinions on the current Eritrean sociopolitical situation. By doing this, ladies and gentlemen, I am realizing my moral responsibility as a concerned citizen of the world especially the Eritrean community, in defense of both individuals to safely pursue their lives lawfully, be it in Eritrea or in Switzerland. And also to inform your good office ahead of tragic happenstance related to this video. This is my personal initiative and I take full responsibility for the integrity of my translation or my interpretation, and thank you. Right now, I want to go to the video and then I would like to talk exactly what it contains after the video. Okay. I will say that my comments to you absolutely work as a lesson. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Well, I do believe the first one is going to be 
so far uh, the attack, the threat is against our Sayyid, and this is what it says. Someone told me that our Sayyid will visit this country in March. Let him come here, and he will, he will find what he will find. They say the Eritrean government, Shabia, in quotation, in this video, has long-reaching hands, and so don't forget that Brigade Nahamadou, a violent group terrorizing the Eritrean communities in Europe, also has the same long-reaching hands. And he, our said, will face an action as in the past. Heal him, harass him. We don't allow any supporters of the Eritrean government to come here dancing and partying. We refugees, a group of people who have the privilege to dance and enjoy life. Thank you. And we will go to the next version of the video. I think the second video, I mean, the second version of the video is against Mr. Zerushanai, Agrimai. Uh, and this is how it sounds. Thank you. ولكن <laughs> ولكن <تصفيق> هاوي <تصفيق> <تصفيق> ولكن <تصفيق> 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 I'm going to do the same kind of translation as much as I can. It says, let me clarify the message in the video. I have an idea. There are people here that talk about familiar relationships, especially in the Akalagzai ethnic group. And that boosts us. There is a nice confidence for safety, but he knows me. We know each other, either in proximity or verbally, via other means of communication. If we find him anywhere, we will drink his blood. That person full of booger doesn't even have an address. He spends his time disguised in tic-tac experience and not in a situation of free movement as used to enjoy in the past. I don't believe familiar relationships so long as 
we differ in principle. The only thing we have to do is take action and eliminate him. He's valueless. Talking about the video, what I want to tell you is that this man, Zerus and I, was arguing in one occasion with an 18 year old kid born in 1998. I know the kid very well. It was with this kid that he was bragging and boasting of beating him up. This kid is not physically fit, but you heard him saying that we couldn't find Zerus and I. We looked for him. And regardless of how familiar relationships exist in between, anyone that undermines our struggle as such should be acted upon by elimination, with all difficulties associated with European countries' social order that is in place. If he ever comes in our event, however, he should only do it knowing his life will be shortened as a consequence, respectfully, and reachable by request. My name is Fetsum Abraham again, and thank you very much from the United States of America. Have a good day.